I recently asked my Instagram community to send me some images and I've picked out five of my favorites. I will show you some of my techniques and include a secret sauce at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around. You can view it as a tutorial or simply grab some snacks and lean back. Let's jump right into the first image. The first image was sent to me by Stefan Photographs and if you want to know how I create my signature moon edits, you better be watching. I quickly go through my blue aesthetic preset pack and use the filmic blues for this one changing the overall contrast and brightness and desaturate every color. I then use the radial gradient to mask out the moon, lower the exposure and feather it a bit for more realism and then hit right click on the mask and choose duplicate and invert mask so I am only using the background. I drop the dehaze, clarity and texture to get rid of the clouds in the image and duplicate the mask I am working in right now. I then double tap on the sliders to reset them and intersect the mask with a linear gradient and lower the exposure to create more depth and contrast. Again, I duplicate this layer but complement the linear gradient with another one, emphasizing the brighter part of the image by lowering the contrast, decreasing the dehaze slider and adding more exposure to it. I am adding more texture to the moon by clicking on the first mask I've created in the beginning. And now for the magic. I am finally saturating the image again by adding my favorite color back to the image, blue. After some slight changes, this is what I came up with. I hope you like the outcome, Stefan. This image was sent to me by Wild Rose Captured and at first glance this already looks beautiful. I cropped the image again to a 4x5 aspect ratio and erased some of the unwanted distractions. Used my classic blue preset and started to mask out the feather. You see Lightroom's AI masking is not the best so I tend to manually mask my subject with the brush tool. I then duplicate and invert the mask to only affect the background and with a linear grade I will again create more depth to the image by decreasing the exposure to add a shadow. I will do the same but with the other side, just like I did with Stefan's moonshot. Again I go back to the feather mask to increase the texture and remove more distractions. I hope you like the outcome. Next image is from Dominic Bernicke and I already know to use my icy cyan preset on this, changing the overall greens but leaving some warmth in the orange tones. As always, after applying my preset, I head straight to the masking tools to create my look. I want to draw the attention to the door, so I use multiple gradients and lower the exposure. A radial gradient to make the lamp pop out more and the path leading to the entrance. I then filled all the little shadowy spots with more darkness to enhance the contrast without having to touch the contrast slider. I hope you like the outcome, Dominic. This image was sent by Antonin and for this one I will not use a preset as a base but rather create a look on my own. The focus was not perfect so I had to mask out the blade of grass and intersect the mask with a brush to make it look more natural. I did some slight changes and desaturated everything again because for me a black and white image is easier to shape. After reapplying the colors and changing the hues this is what I came up with. I hope you like it. This image from Sarah W. Malik will be the perfect example for what an edit can actually do to an image. It is a JPEG file so I don't have much data to play around with, but that doesn't limit my knowledge. I think you can already see how many gradients I'm using and if you haven't noticed yet what the actual secret sauce is, yes, gradients. Don't lag out on gradients. I am using different masking techniques, selecting objects and intersect them with brushes. You can look at it as a painting in 4th grade. Simply have fun with it. Here I am disabling all my masks. Look at the difference. Now I will add colors back to the image and tweak some settings for the final look. I hope you like the outcome Sarah. Thank you so much for sending me your image. I am still learning and honing my own style, so I hope at least one of my techniques were helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, drop a comment or DM me on Instagram. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Much love.